The desire for respect and dignity is a fundamental human need. The DVD you're about to watch emerged from a workshop about respect and dignity organised by Newham Link as part of a wider consultation carried out among local people. The workshop was based on what is called forum theatre. This technique is used to encourage and empower people through their participation in exploring everyday problems. They are helped to act out issues and show their impact. Through these methods, participants are also encouraged to experiment with solutions and transform the reality in which they are living. Hi, I'm, I'm Ali Campbell and I'm a senior lecturer in Applied Performance at Queen Mary University of London. And what we're going to do for two days is use other means than just talking to work uh, intergenerationally. We're going to have different generations in the room, not just elders being talked about, but lots of people exploring together what they mean by respect and dignity. Welcome. It's an absolute pleasure. We have been looking for a mixture of people of all ages, and I think there's quite a... Yeah, we've, you can see that. I've got research questions here, um, which uh, a lot of people in government, in the NHS, in different kinds of services are exploring about what we mean by respect and dignity. Now you can see there's just three, which I'm really relieved about, because there's so much to say about each of them. And um, how we're going to be talking about these is um, part of a consultation. Sometimes young people get confused, because they get one sort of instruction at home, other sort at the school. Mixed messages. And they yeah. don't know what's the right one. Once a boy, about 10, 12, he gave me a seat in a bus. But his mother was very angry. And she was telling him, don't give seat to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Not just the inspiration, but the power that has helped us actually be able to, yeah. uh, to um, bring film into this and everything like that. Sight. Just like to tell quickly, quickly um, the, my task is, is to make sure what we t talk about today about refractive dignity, yeah. that the change takes place in the service provisions. Mm -hmm. And that's what I am here. Yeah. It's just not about talking, it's to making sure yeah. that we see the changes. Yeah, yeah. In our and what we're coming up with here now are questions. Yeah. Um, there is a cycle of disrespect yes. and it's self-perpetuating. Do you know what I mean? It goes on and on. How do we break it? Where do we break it? What is the most powerful way of sending back out a message that reverses it and sends a cycle of respect back out into the world? And we think it's got to involve young people. Yes. It's got to involve us. Yes. It's got to involve yeah. passion, young, young not just parents. talking. Yeah. Young so parents. it's almost as if what we are needing to do is campaign. Yes. yes. I always have my toolbox ready some of it's visual, some of it is actually tangible, it's artist materials. Other things in the toolbox are games and exercises which are kind of in my head and they're in the culture of this way of working, which is participatory work. But I didn't know which ones I would use and I didn't know, most of all, which one would really take. And the biggest surprise today, the second day, the biggest surprise is that Forum Theatre from beginning to end, top to bottom, flew. Okay. Yeah. We like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like so, uh, scene one uh, of the disrespect forum. I would like to go stand by, and when you hear this, it means action. Okay, stand by. your way to sit down and you saw this young lady run along there why didn't you say excuse me I'm going to sit there I'm sure she would 
back off. Yeah, so she, why didn't you challenge her? Yeah, she, she knows respect. I Because she's old, I know she knew how to respect me. Okay. I was sick. She can see that I can't walk. Yeah. So she should have the courtesy yeah, of yes. leaving the seat for me. But don't you think we have a responsibility regardless to say, excuse me, I was going to sit there because she saw the action of you going there. So we have that responsibility because maybe she wouldn't even, she's not even thinking about respecting you whether you, you can't walk or what. That's why she went there. The seat you was the empty. Was, well, but you saw her going to the seat. Yeah. If so did everybody else. They all could get up, got up. Are we ready? Can I bring a chair in? No, no. no, 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 no room. room because we're already no, discussing. No, 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 no. This, no. They did this, mm -hmm. and you did that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we've actually had speak no evil. Mm -hmm. We've seen no evil. And we've been here. Except it's not evil. It's, yeah. it, it, refusal. it's refusal to speak, refusal to hear, refusal to see. That's disrespect. Can I ask you to do a completely open experiment, which I have got no idea what on earth is going to happen? <laughs> what I would like you to do is make a map. And the map I want you to make is going to be of, let's just say, one street. And I want this street to be a street where respect and dignity prevail. Here's what you're going to use. an inclusive nightclub. Can you yeah, see yeah. some order coming out of chaos? Do you see it? Yes. What do you notice about the big picture? There are um, religious institutions, but there are also specialist things like schools. They all seem to have equal space between them. Have you noticed? It's not just, um, normally we would say, you know, right, well, they're the Muslims and they're there, and they're the Christians and they're there. But I, what I'm noticing is that they're giving each other space yes. Yes. and that means you're free to move about. And the park's in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. So actually the middle of this community is completely open. And these are people going along the road. They're street lamps, those there. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. a tree, I believe. Mm -hmm. This is a house, a doorway. What dignity and respect means to me is that to be valued to be known, to be treated with respect, and to, be, to have be given information correctly and honestly so that I know what I'm doing, I know what I have to do, I know somebody what is expecting from me, and to hear my views, what I have to say. Dignity, I think, is something you have within yourself. Um, and that you can give to other people or respect other people, but say for instance, people in hospital, treating people properly, giving them their own dignity so they don't lose it when they're lying in bed or, or perhaps, you know, bandages and feeling rotten. I have learnt a lot uh, from the workshop as different ages have different ways of showing dignity and respect. Do you learn? what other people think about those two subjects, don't you? I mean, they may not be the same as the way you think it. I mean, the way I look at it might be quite different from, from another person. I think it's been really helpful, yeah. I mean, to work with the different age groups, different points of view,
people that you wouldn't normally have the chance to interact with. We learned a lot through the stories. That's when you know about how dignity works. Yeah, through action, verbally and acting on it. When I think about the word dignity and respect, you always seem to think, um, like Alia explained, maybe you think about a mission statement and it states this is how it should be. But in the workshop, you're seeing it being played out. You're having um, a better level of awareness of what actually happens when you look at the scenes that are unfolding in front of you. It makes you think then, how am I going to implement this in, in, in the wider community? It's one thing in a workshop, but how to actually go through your day to day in a dignified way and how to give people respect. When you live by these value for self, which is you the person, then you would sort of, you know, spread it out as you go along in life. So I think I need to see something different now, to roll it out, roll it out in the wider community. We can, it might be very difficult because, you know, when you have to deal with local authority, they're like some sort of um, secret society people and you have to, it's, it's more than red tapes, it's every color, blue, red and every tapes that you have to break down to get to them. But if we persevere and keep banging on, on that door, one day it will be open, and that is where we can start. The DVD shows examples of respect and dignity, what they can mean in practice, and how possible changes occur. It also illustrates how Forum Theatre works. Forum Theatre it can be used to explore many issues that arise between service users and service providers and help find solutions to improve service delivery and care. It can help point out places in the system where change is both needed and possible and is cost effective, easy to use and helps engage communities across cultures, languages and faiths.